Hi guys, welcome to Sumit Your Stuff and this is Sumit. So, I am starting a new series on my channel which is how to make a discord bot from scratch. So, let's get started. First, I have um, uh, just type on in Chrome that Node.js download and uh, just click on the first link and it will redirect to this one and then just select LTS and then click on Windows installer or any operating system you can also go to a source code to see the source code and then here uh, just type Visual Studio code download or VS code download and then just click on the first link and you will go to this link uh, and then select your operating system you can also select 64 bit or 32 bit by the way the uh, links will be in the description box so i'll just uh, i have okay i'll just create a new uh, folder known as example example bot i think the string is no problem i okay i'll just uh, open cmd or command prompt and then i'll just make it full screen and then i'll just uh, locate to this directory uh, in the command prompt and here i'll get uh, an npm imft and this should appear uh, if you have not installed node.js properly then it would come error so here it is asking for a package name you can name your package anything i'll just name it uh, the default and then version to default uh, nothing is needed here uh, you can even type your name here i'll not type it now i'll just after you have confirmed the everything just type yes and then as you can see a new package json file is there so now so to actually edit this yeah I, uh, I told you we we are using visual studio code here so i'll just open vs code and then uh, you can just uh, here in the start or in the welcome page uh, in the start you can just go to open folder and then you can locate your file which is this one and it will open the file for you and you'll just click on package.json and here all this uh, specified here and now if you don't want to do this i just close it and show you if you just click it it will open in some other editor uh, it's opening uh, in visual studio code for me i mean visual studio 2019 you can also use this editor uh, or you can use visual studio uh, visual code so I'll just uh, go to open it and then just select Visual Studio Code and it will open the file everything for you. So as you can see, uh, there is no need of uh, locating. Okay. And then I'll just open uh, folder. and then it will load everything for you as you can see it's the same file uh, as this one so it specifies that name is example bot version uh, the 1.0.0 description is nothing main is main file starting file will be our index.js 
and then the scripts will be nothing and then author no nothing and then license uh, isp so it's the same thing we had uh, specified here so now actually to code our bot uh, j just go to inside uh, just go inside the command prompt and then take npm install this call dot js and then it should in install uh, this call dot js for you from that uh, you can just uh, connect to the discord so it rolls and all so uh, it should actually come like this if uh, the npm uh, i mean the discord bot is successfully installed okay so now we'll just go into uh, visual studio code and as you can see uh, first we will we'll create a file in here as you can see our main starting file should only be index.js so i'll just click on new file and then index.js file and then now now uh, just type that const uh, discord is equal to discord and in the bracket discord dot js and a semicolon after this this means that constant discord um, will require uh, discord.js which uh, we have now we just in, in install through npm so now we'll just uh, type const pl uh, int client is equal to new this call dot client and then bracket then this one semicolon so you have to uh, you have to just uh, go uh, here to your chrome and then just type uh, this one uh, this call dot com uh, slash developers uh, slash applications uh, and you need to log in there by the way the link will be this in the description below after this you can uh, click on new application and then you can uh, name your application anything i'll just name it example bot and then i'll just create it and then it will create a example um, bot uh, application and then just go to the uh, bot section in the settings and then just click on add bot and then just uh, click on yes do it and then it will cr create a bot for you and you can also change the username of your bot so now uh, i'll uh, give this link also in the description box so i'll just take this called uh, permission calculator and then uh, this should appear and then just um, you can give the permission uh, um, whichever the permission the bot wants like it can ban members kick members uh, manage roles administrator so read messages send messages manage messages all those things that uh, bot needs uh, like this each channel connect each members 
speak different numbers okay so we have all the permissions which we need and as you can see I'll per permission uh, number is here so I'll just go to uh, default developer portal we actually need a uh, client ID here so we will just go to general information and then copy the client ID here and then just paste the client ID here and then just go to the link which already tells so I, I have um, created a new server called uh, testing our bot so I'll just go to the Chrome and then I'll just click on Okay. I'll just uh, stop the uh, pause the recording and then I'll just come back uh, after I complete this and then as you can see I have this and then I'll just uh, click on example server and then I'll click authorize and this box will come I'll and it's authorized and as you can see our example bot is here so yeah so now I'm back in Visual Studio so I'll make some space and then I'll type client dot login and then the token uh, I mean yeah token Yeah, I'll just copy the code token and then just paste it here and a semicolon. So, yeah, set it this so, so, uh, in this video, we have learned that uh, how to install um, uh, Discord.js and uh, and just install Node.js and Visual Studio Code, and then we also got to know how to uh, uh, create a file that is packaged that uh, JSON using the command npm init init. Okay, uh, and then we also learned how to authorize our bot uh, to the server, and then we also learned uh, how to uh, give permissions to the bot and what we want the bot to do so this was it uh, for this video so in the in the next video in this series we'll be um, going to learn how to get the bot online or uh, yeah in or to get the bot online I'll and we'll do some test commands so if we type something with the prefix uh, which can be ex exclamatory mark or plus and minus and many more you can add your uh, prefix of your choice and then if we type something with that prefix it will uh, it will just uh, type what we uh, want it to type uh, through uh, this file so uh, if you don't type with pre prefix either it is uh, plus or exclamatory mark uh, sorry yeah plus or the exclamatory mark uh, it will not uh, means it will ignore whatever we type so Thanks for watching and bye. See you in the next video.